simply do that. Um, <laughs> so my first 30 days as a brand new spanking nurse. So let's see. Hmm. So basically, um, when I first started, uh, I was really nervous. I'm not going to lie. Because it's like when you're in orientation and when you go to clinicals, you have somebody to hold your hand. If something goes wrong, you go and get the nurse or your instructor, a preceptor, whoever, whatever y'all call them. But when you're on your own, it's like, yeah, you're the nurse. So, um, yeah. So that's something that's very different. Um, but as a brand new nurse, um, it wasn't too bad. Um, the worst part, the part that I did not like, of course, is the training. But learning the people, learning what to do, learning the uh, protocol for your facility. Um, I still don't know everything. I still ask a lot of questions. Um, I told my preceptor whenever um, I first started that um, I'm going to ask her a lot of questions so if I don't know something I will ask even if I know it I may still ask just to make sure that it's the right answer you know that just me but she was pretty nice um, I just lied I said that it was cool my first 30 days I just remember I tried to quit and I said that in one of my videos too um, yeah so about that from what I can remember so I'm like four or five months in now uh, and my memory horrible <laughs> but uh, I remember training with this girl and um, I had one more day left because they trained me I think on one rotation it was one or two rotations but I didn't like it I needed more training so the last day I didn't call in I didn't, I didn't go I didn't show up I emailed the DON, letting her know that I don't think this job is for me. I sure did. And she emailed me back asking me, do I want to train on another day on day shift? Or um, would I like to train with a new another nurse who was also new when she started? So, and she works nights. So, I decided to train with her. The girl who, um, the nurse who worked nights. You know, it's a new nurse. But come to find out, she had only been a nurse like a month before she came there. Um, she transferred from another facility um, through the same company as our nursing home. So, um, she she was new, but she wasn't new, new like me. So, and she really helped me. Um, she's no longer working with us, but she really helped me and stuff. And so, and I appreciate her for that. And then, um, because she was, she was able to understand everything I was going through. How I was feeling overwhelmed. How it was like so many different meds for different people. People rushing you. You know what I'm saying? Just learning the people. And things that ticks them off and stuff like that. Because it's a psych ward where I'm at. I kid you not. A lot of those people are on psych medications. It's, it, it's crazy. It will make anybody want to quit. Like any brand new nurse. Because of just, just their behaviors. I kid you not, but it is not a psych unit. It is not considered a psych unit, but I promise you. Yeah. So, um, so she helped me out. And, you know, she was telling me, she was like, girl, um, I want to quit as soon as I start working down here. Um, these people are just crazy. It didn't make any sense. Like, she was going over some of their behaviors and stuff. She was like, I just couldn't do it. I, you know, I feel like I couldn't do it and stuff. And I was just like, girl, if only you knew. And I didn't, um, the thing is, when I did it, the DON kept it confidential that I did try to quit. I didn't tell them that I tried to quit. I did not tell her that I felt overwhelmed. You know, like, basically, like, the stuff she was telling me, I experienced. I felt it. But when she was telling me, I was just like, oh okay you know like okay or i'll say 
yeah it's a lot but left it at, at that i didn't tell her deep down how i was truly feeling because at the end of the day i feel like this if i even though if i could you know she confided in me doesn't mean that i can confide in her and that comes with maturity because if i could have if i would have confided in her and told her exactly how i felt she could have easily just told the next person and my name going around this and then the other that they begged me to stay beg me to stay you, you see what i'm saying and stuff like that and i didn't do any of that but um she really helped me i went back um because i had one more day of training with the other girl and so i just told her you know i wasn't able to make it to work when i came because of course they asked you know and she's really knows like she worked me now and baby and she is something nosy but i'm able to read all through that baby hmm. so don't think your co-workers are your friends either if why if why so um but she trained me that other day so she basically just sat down at the nursing station and let me do everything so and i and i was so happy that she did that because um i got a chance to see how it is and stuff like that working by myself and if any questions that i needed or i had she was able to answer so and i appreciate that like she let me do everything and so of course i had questions and even now like the other nurse that's on the other end of the hallway she helps me as well i'm starting to speed up because um I mean someone from uh, for lunch and so um, she gonna call me in a minute and as you guys know I do my video through my camera um, app on my phone not through the YouTube itself so but anyway so everything went well um, as I just you know work by myself I start to understand things understand my people learn them more um, learn my meds you know my stuff like that sometimes i still have a problem distinguishing what is normal and what's not normal um like one time i had a peg tube it was um he have uh what was it prostate and uh it was coming out in a real place and i was just like what's going on did an x-ray um came out that it was in the right place so it happened the next rotation and um he was complaining about his stomach hurt and mind you we checked the placement and everything and it sounded like he was in the right place and so um the girl when she um was giving him his meds on another shift another rotation on night at night she started freaking out because he was talking about his stomach was hurting and so she asked the other nurse because she's new too she's a she's a new rn but i didn't train her this girl here and um <laughs> So she, um, the nurse told him, cause she used to be an ADO in too. She was like, girl, let's send him on out. Send him on to the hospital. The girl come to find, I mean, not girl. Cause I have me and watching too, but come to find out it was in the wrong place. So you see what I'm saying? So stuff like that, that could have easily turned left or whatever. But I'm glad we did something. Cause I ordered the x-ray. Cause I didn't know. I was like, this is weird. And plus I had the new, another new RN, which is her classmate training with me when this happened. I'm like, this had never happened before. And when I asked, I asked, um, two nurses about it. The other two nurses that worked with me that same day. And they was like, well, it could have been something open at the top or whatever. And I'm like, no, this coming from the bottom. Like where it's going into his stomach, his abdominal. And, and, and I'm like, this no don't make sense i was like shoot i felt weird because i repositioned them and everything like that and i'm like man let me order an x-ray you know like that's the first step i didn't want to send them out you know to send them to the hospital without checking a you know getting an x-ray done or whatever but like i said x-ray came back that it was in the right place hmm. so but anyways um all in all whenever whenever you knew if you have any questions please 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 ask ask like me i ask even though um nobody really knew <laughs> but i still ask you know because the, the worst thing you want to do is have that conscience on you like you didn't ask so you didn't know whether or not somebody else knew the answer or whatever but no questions is too dumb no questions is you know i mean ask it's gonna be overwhelming it is you're gonna want to throw in the towel keep 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 on keeping on just think about it like this go through a full day a full shift like your second or third day and ask yourself do is this something that i can get used to do is this something that if i learn pretty much everything would i enjoy doing ask yourself that before you quit because if you could continue to do something 
you will begin to love it. Well, I'm not going to say you're going to begin to love it, but you're going to become more um, familiar. You're going to become more, um, you know, it's just going to happen. But don't just throw in a towel like I did because I really truly wanted to throw in the towel. And I'm not sure what I would have done if I did because right now I, I want to go to another facility. Don't get me wrong. But... I have to go through training and all of that and I miss my people. I have residents that I love truly and dear and I, I hold them dear to my heart. And if I lead them, you know, I just don't know. Like we, we develop that connection and that's something in LTC that you do. You develop a connection with people and I have developed that connection. But uh, I think my thing is more so the training overall. The reason why I won't leave or won't leave right now but by a year i plan to um do something else but who knows because it's definitely a shortage um okay four minutes she's four minutes away it's definitely a shortage in the nurses at my facility as well as cnas and i don't like that and i know a lot of people do choose not to do um ltc because of that because of the staffing and believe me it is definitely a problem i did not have this problem when i first started and i thank god for that because you know what if i did i would have quit then i know i would have quit but one of the reasons that i'm going to also say the reason why I wanted to quit and there was a big reason why it's because my cna is lazy and y'all can go back and look, listen to those videos he been a cna for like 12 13 years at the same facility those people on my end of the hallway will have bed sores if they wasn't obese true that's all facts because he doesn't make his rounds like he's supposed to you can get on him all day long nothing's going to be done and at this point it's 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 sad because right now we feel like okay if he quit or leave we're gonna be stuck doing his job plus ours it's just it's when I mean, you know you talk to your cna is crazy or you be confrontational because that's how they're gonna think you know no matter how you go and approach them they can just up and walk away and we need those cnas you know but um uh, whenever i ask him to do things he does do it i'm one of those nurses i don't like telling a grown person how to do their job when they've been on a job longer than i have they're not new it's a difference if they're in orientation or don't know there's a difference so um but that was a big reason but a lot of them love him I'm not sure why, but they do. But, um, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. But all in all, um, like I said, my first 30 days was overwhelming. But if you're not a nurse yet, definitely when you become a nurse, please stick with it no matter what you do. Don't, don't give up. I look for a job for like two months every day or maybe a month. Maybe a month after I started every day. I think I said on one of my past videos, I look for a job every day. My off days, the days I had to go to work, it was just that bad. And I will also say, if you can, last thing, if you can, I will say start on night shift. If you don't have kids or if it's convenient for you, start on the night shift because you're able to learn the people you're able to learn i think a little more on nights as far as not technically the nurse related stuff but just everything else but on day shift because on day shift people are they're everywhere leaving you and you have to really manage your time on day shift and so at at night i think that that'll be really cool for you to start on night shift i've never worked days but i know it's crazy so go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what other video videos y'all want to see. I have another video that's going to come later. I'm not sure when, but um, I did get that other remark, um, the other comment from the same guy, CJ, who requested this video. But if you have any questions or want to see a video, please ask and I'll make one for you. Bye-bye.